guys welcome back to liquid art today we're going to be painting this poppy painting so grab all your stuff it's in acrylic and it's all designed for beginners so guys here's everything that you're going to need for today so we're going to start with our kitchen towel this is to dry off our brushes you're also going to need another square but just keep it to the side we're going to use that later we've got our canvas board or canvas in the middle our three paint brushes big medium and small we then got our paint water i've got it over here in a jar we then got our palette so we've got it covered in the cling film for easy cleaning and the acrylic colors black blue sky blue white yellow and red you can of course change these colors we're painting coffee today so we're going to use a lot of red if you want to make a field full of different color flowers that would be awesome it's entirely up to you guys just need to mix the colors up um, and i'll talk you through that when we get on the poppy bit so when you guys are ready you're going to take your big paint brush for me give it a really good wash and a little bit of a dry and you're going to take your sky blue to start with and you're just going to brush it across the top of our canvas here so we're going to make a really nice clear blue sky and then we'll do some clouds later on. So just brush it backwards and forwards. And then you're going to take a bit of the darker blue this time. And just add it at the top here. This blue is mainly going to be used to make the greens later on. But we're going to use a little bit at the top of the sky for now. So you just want it to blend in. So just rub it backwards and forwards. If it's not blending you need to wash your paintbrush. Give it a good dry and then a little bit of more clean water. And just brush it back into it. If you find that it's not moving very much, you need a little bit more water. If it's really runny, dry off your brush and then just go from there and add a little bit more paint. So once you guys have done this bit, you're then going to give your paintbrush a really good wash for me. Dab off that blue colour. We're going to take some white this time. So it doesn't need to be perfectly clean. Just a little bit of white into the bottom bit here. And just brush it across. up into that sky and then you're just going to keep adding a little bit more white to this we don't want it to be a really light blue but we just want a little bit lighter so i've just sped this bit up here you might have already finished this bit i'm just adding a few little bits uh, and i just want to make sure that the color is nice and fluid and it's just blended really nicely. You could make a dark stormy sky if you guys wanted, it's up to you. Uh, I just wanted a really nice light color in the sky. Uh, and then we'll add some clouds, uh, but it's not until one of our finishing touches. So yeah. So when you guys are ready, put that brush to the side and I'm gonna take my smallest brush this time with some yellow and some blue, mix it together to make a nice green color. We're then going to take a little bit to the side and add a little bit more yellow into it to make a different shade of green. So depending on the amounts of blue or yellow you use, you'll make different shades of that colour. So I've taken the more yellowy colour this time and we're going to do this hill over here first. So we're going to start with this one. All you're doing is kind of curving it out across the centre here and then you're just going to colour it in just a little bit of a hill i thought of this as the kind of the microsoft uh 2003 screensaver <laughs> this part of this hill uh so i've just done that bit and then what we're going to do is we're going to work on our path so we're going to create that now we're going to use all the primary colors to make a brown so red yellow and blue mix it all together and that will make a brown we then want to make it a little bit lighter so i want you guys to add some white to it in a second so this is mixing that brown bring it to the side add a little bit of white and you've made a nice light brown color now this is going to be the color of our path so we're going to draw this now So we're nice and curved and we want it thicker towards the bottom so where it's closer to us. So imagine like uh, it's opening up and it would be a bit wider. I'm just adding some white straight onto this colour here because I want it a little bit lighter. And then I just want you guys to soften out the edge of the part so that it's not so straight, the lines aren't so tight. You just want to just brush it out just a little bit. 
nice so once you guys have done that a really good wash with your paintbrush again for me you're going to use your medium brush this time and we're just going to take some of that green that we made earlier a little bit darker than the hill that we already done and you're just going to brush this all over this field here we're going to bring it right up against that uh, path that we made uh, we're going to blend it out in a bit just so just bring it to it for now and you can use lots of different shades of green in this bit if you like i'm using a few dark patches um, but remember you're not going to actually see this green so i've added a little bit more white in as well to make it a little bit more opaque but again you're not going to see this green we're going to cover it in flowers later on So now this field is all nice and green. Good wash with this paintbrush. And we're just gonna put this to the side for a second. And we're gonna go back to our small paintbrush now, just with a little bit of water on it. We're just gonna brush backwards and forwards between this green line and the edge of our path. Don't worry if it brings some of the green into it. Um, we just wanna blur out the edges. just softened out where it is so it looks like the grass and the path just meet really naturally that's the idea of this bit and now I've gone back to my medium brush we're now going to create our tree line so take some blue and some yellow and mix it together and first we're just going to dab a few little bits into this field over here just a few dark bits and also you can practice kind of here what we're going to do with our trees because we're just going to use the end of our brush to create that tree effect of where it really pushes out and shows that the leaves are kind of dispersing. So some yellow and some blue, mix it together here. And you're just gonna dab along this field line. So just try and create different shapes of these trees. You don't want them to be a straight line or anything because otherwise it'll just look like a hedge. So you just want to dab all the way along. And then I've just added a little bit of black into one of my greens. I'm just going to dab along these trees as well. So we've got some bits that are a little bit darker than others. We just want to, more than anything, just break this away from our field. So you want to make it kind of a little bit more black along that tree line, just to show the emphasis of it's further away and these are trees, they're not part of this field. So now we're going to go into our flowers. So what I want you guys to do is give your paintbrush a really good wash. And then I've just taken some red and I've just started dotting about. So all we're doing is just using a little bit of red. And so there's a few techniques. So we can either dot it about or we can do the splatter technique, which is like this. So all you do is you make it a little bit runnier and you hold your paintbrush in your non-dominant dominant hand. Um, so I'm holding mine in my left because I'm actually right handed and then I'm just using the other brush using a handle of it just to tap it like so and all it's going to do is make these really nice little splatters so remember I said about our kitchen towel earlier we're going to cover this bit of our sky up don't press down though because it's already wet and it will just wreck the painting so just tap it over here and we just don't have to worry about that red accidentally going into our trees or our sky 
So you can do as much or as little as you like of this. You can change the colours. You can make clusters of flowers, which work really well, I think. Um, but yeah, totally up to you guys. Um, just this bit does take the longest bit, I will warn you now. <laughs> just going to cover it in all these different colours. Uh, and you can do different shades of red if you want as well. I'm going to mix some of a darker red with some black. And I'm also going to do a little bit of a lighter red with some white. But obviously I don't want it to go really pink. So just try and avoid painting over that path for now. A few splatters won't matter, but just try not to paint over the top of it. So we're still just adding these different clusters of flowers on. So we're using some lighter colours, some darker colours, some more vibrant reds with a little bit more white mix into them, just to make them more opaque rather than to make them like some more pink or anything like that. Um, but of course you guys can add different colours in here as well. You could have purple flowers, you could have white flowers, you could even try and do some sunflowers, might be quite nice. Um, but I just took this photo of this... Um, when I was walking my dogs, walking through a poppy field, I thought it was absolutely gorgeous and just thought I needed to paint it. So I am going to actually add my dogs in later as well. If you guys want to do this as well, it's easier just to make them just look like they're walking away from you. You could change that to a bird though, uh, it could be a cat walking through a poppy field, you don't know. Uh, or a couple, um, it's entirely up to you guys, or you could just leave it so the focus is on the flowers. So yeah, so just something to think about for now. Um, so just yeah, just keep adding in all these different flowers. So just gonna just try and make this look really vibrant and red. I'm just taking that um, kitchen towel away just to check that it has worked, and I've just moved it down a little bit for this bit. I'm just gonna cover up my path as well. So I've just ripped that kitchen towel. I just wanted to cover it up a little bit because I really didn't want to get any of the red on top of that part. So nice, now I've taken that kitchen towel away, you can really see how well that red has worked against the background. And what I'm going to do here as well is I'm going to take a little bit of black and I'm just do just dabbing it into the centre of a few of our poppies. So I don't want to do it on every single one or anything like that, otherwise it would just be a sea of black flowers and I don't want that. I'm just doing a few little tiny bits. So if you've got really bold bits of red, it might be good to just do a little dab of that black in. Just be careful that, you know, the red might be a bit runny and you don't want to dab some black into it and it'll just turn into a bit of a mucky grey colour. You don't want that. So just a few little bits. I love how much the red contrasts against the sky in this. I just think it works so well. So I'm going to give my paintbrush a really good wash now and I'm just going to take some white and I'm going to start by drawing my dog, okay? So she's black and white, so all I'm going to do here is I'm just dabbing a bit of a shape of her. So it's going to be kind of her head, this, this little bit, and then her body and bring it down to her legs. So it's just very abstract with this, 
And I'm going to take a little bit of black now. She's kind of black and white, so she's a bit spotty. Um, and I'm going to do some of her ears and her legs and just kind of patch it out. It's kind of hard to see with my thumb in the way of this, but I'll explain it afterwards. So it's just the idea of doing her head, her back, and her feet and then just bringing out a little tail that's all I'm doing with this and I don't want the attention to be on her either in this painting I want it to be on the flowers so she's just kind of there she's just a collection of different colors in this bit here And then I'm just going to do a little bit of a shadow with our black. And now I'm going to do my other dog as well. So she's going to be a little bit further forward and a little bit smaller. So again, I'm just going to start with the body, build up to her head, and then just two little legs towards the bottom. more of a squiggle than anything when you draw these because um, I just want them walking away and yeah they're not the attention of this painting so I'm also going to mix a little bit of a kind of a warm brownie color and some orange and I'm going to dab that into her as well So this one is a black and tan dog, so I should really have done the brown colour first, um, but I just wanted to do the black to just show the shape of her so you guys can see it. And don't forget to do the shadow as well. So now all I'm going to do is mix a little bit of a grey, so using some of the white and the black, mixing it together and I'm just going to do a few little flecks around this little dog's head. Um, so it's just kind of showing that the sunlight has hit it in certain areas, um, but honestly don't worry too much about this. You just want to keep them nice and small and neat. Um, you could do the dog going sideways if you wanted to, um, but it kind of looks like they're walking away which is what I wanted. Now I'm just taking a little bit more of these red colours, I've gone for a lighter red this time and I'm just going to dab a few little bits more around here. Some bits just might need brightening up if they're a little bit dark. If you guys wondered where this painting was, uh, where the photo was taken and everything like that, uh, it was actually in Milton Keynes, uh, it was just off the back of Old Stratford as you walked towards Cosgrove, it was just a beautiful poppy field um, and I just wanted to walk my dogs through it and saw the image of where I was walking and thought I'd make a good painting, so that's the reason I did this one today. And if you guys have any photos of anything you think would look great as tutorials, just please drop them to us. We'll have a go. Um, and it might be something that you just might want to paint but you didn't know how. Um, and we'll happily show you how. So now I've given my paintbrush a really good wash and I, I'm just going to add a few little bits of cloud in. So I'm just adding a tiny bit of white. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my paintbrush nice and dry. I'm just going to brush backwards and forwards and it's just going to blend it just slightly into that background without mixing into the blue that much. It's just going to kind of just dab it out and it's just going to fade slightly. You can of course leave the clouds if you don't want to do them um, but it just kind of just brushes it in nicely. You might even want to try and blend it a little bit. You can use a little bit of clean water to do so. 
And once you've done that, guys, we are finished. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this painting. We'll try and put some more up for you, and we'll see you soon. Guys, don't forget to send us your paintings. We'd love to see how you did. And please don't forget to tell your, all your friends about liquid art. So hit the like button and subscribe.